Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to connect your uh, WaveBird GameCube controller to your a Nintendo GameCube or Wii. And first of all, before we get started, you need two things. One is your WaveBird, of course, and two is the receiver part. Now, if you don't have a receiver, you're going to have to get one because you can't connect without this receiver. And with that on the way, uh, let's get into it. So the first step into connecting your WaveBird controller is making sure that they are on the right frequency or the same frequency as the receiver. So if we look here, you see at the very bottom there's this little wheel or this dial and it has numbers on it. Now what you what you want to do is make sure they're on the same channel. Let's pick just pick any of the numbers. It doesn't matter if you're only connecting one controller. If you're connecting more than one, as you see here, I'll show that later. But if you're only connecting one, just pick a number. I'll pick um let's see. Let's pick three. It's a good number. Okay. Now, now that you've got your dial set, um, remember this number, it's three. And get your wave board, and over here, you realize that there's also another wheel on the back of this. So what you're going to want to do is make sure it's on the same channel as the receiver. And since I set it on three there, I'll set it on three here on the wave board as well. Uh, there we go. So you can see they are both on channel 3. This will allow them to communicate with each other and, effic and efficiently uh, connect them. So let's, let's get over to the GameCube. Okay, so now that you've got your controller set up to connect to the GameCube, actually, it's time to actually plug it in. So um, um, for this, um, I will be using my Wii U to work as a GameCube, but this will work for a, a, any GameCube or Wii. It's the same, it works the same way. So here you've got your um, controller ports. On the Wii U, the, I mean on the Wii, this should be on the top, and you want to plug it into the first port. On the GameCube, it should be the front-facing panel. It's pretty clear. So what you want to do is take your receiver, plug it into the first port, which is the one closest to the left. And once you plug it in, you take your controller, and you can see here there's a green light that goes on every time you put an input in, and that's how you know if you're, it's working or not. And I also got. Um, Mario Sunshine up here, and as you can see, everything is working fine. There's no problems or issues. Okay, so what if you wanted to uh, connect two controllers? Well, I'll get my other controller here. It's a similar process. You want now this time. You will be you're picking a channel, but make sure that you're picking a channel that is not taken by the other receiver. Otherwise, you'll have some interference between them. So since I chose uh, three last time, I'll be choosing, I guess, five this time. So it's on port five. And this one is also on port five. So we just plug that into the second slot. And when you turn it on, there we go, oops, there. You can see it, this one has lost a uh, green light every time you in put an input. And this one, the other one flashes a green light when you put an input through the first controller. This is player one and this is player two. Now if you want to do any multiplayer games, you would just go start up the game and you would be ready to go. So that's it. Well anyways, thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, uh, leave a like and subscribe it will help my channel grow faster and i would really appreciate it but anyways thank you guys see y'all later